welcome to Stay True Island's channel, I'm Jana and today I will be setting up my spreads for September. I can't believe it's almost September, we are so close to Christmas and the new year. Please don't come for me, I am one of those people. As usual, I will announce the last giveaway's winner at the end of the video and there will be another giveaway so make sure to watch until the very end so you don't miss out on that. Also, I'm really sorry if you can hear crashing noises in the background. There are builders outside my building and they are being very loud so I hope you don't mind. Before we get started, here's a flip through of my August setup. It's not completely filled in yet because it's not the end of the month, but I have added all of my weekly pages. I also added temporary pictures that remind me of Spain on my highlights because I'm going to Spain at the end of this month, so I'll be replacing these pictures with my own when I get back from my holiday. Alright, so for September, my theme is Polaroids. I was really tempted to do something about autumn because if you were here last year, you would know that autumn is my all-time favourite season, but I thought that this time I should switch it up a little and do something colourful. This is the first time I'm using rainbow colours and I'm quite excited, so I'm just drawing the camera and then adding September, and I'm just keeping the first page simple. I usually do little doodles all over the cover page, but I thought I'd switch it up this time. For the quote page, I decided to draw a Polaroid film with a fine liner. I wanted to draw something nice on the picture, but after setting up all of my spreads, I realized that this doesn't really quite go with the rest of my pages, but that's okay. I still really like the drawing. And at the bottom where people usually write stuff on their Polaroids, I wrote make memories which still kind of fits with the theme because I like to take pictures to look back on in the future. But I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes I get a bit embarrassed taking pictures because there is this stigma, I think, around people taking pictures on their phones. Obviously, people don't care if I take pictures, but a part of me feels like I'm being judged because I feel like people might think I'm just going to post it on Instagram for validation, which isn't the case at all. I'm not saying people who post on social media are always looking for validation, but there is just that stigma around it. If you are an influencer or just someone who likes taking pictures for Instagram or social media in general, more power to you. <laughs> but I don't know, I feel like people quietly judge, but I'm trying not to let that bother me because if you want to take photos for yourself or for social media, as long as you're not hurting anyone and it's coming from a healthy mindset, then you do you. I'd really like to hear your thoughts on this, so share them in the comments below and I'd be happy to read them. Alright, anyway, sorry about that rant. Moving on to my monthly log, I'm just setting up my regular calendar. This month is a little awkward because it starts on Sunday and ends on a Monday, so I did my calendar in this shape. Then I'm just adding colour to it by adding a coloured dot on the top right corner of each box where my numbers will go. Then to decorate I'm just drawing Polaroids clipped to a string. And to fill the extra space at the bottom I'm just adding a quote that says When life gets blurry adjust your focus. Which I thought was a very cute camera related quote. Then I'm just doing my mood tracker and I'm sorry if you've seen this before but I did get this idea from Pinterest. There are quite a few similar ones so I will link them in the description box below. But it's the same as the monthly log, I'm just drawing Polaroids clipped to a line and I'm drawing 30 of those, one for each day of the month. I have more than one mood a day so this is perfect for my mood tracker because I can always colour the frames in different colours and the polaroids something else. Then as usual I'm just adding a little legend at the bottom. Next is my habit tracker as usual. The habit tracker is probably the easiest to make because I was so carefree with the lines. I just drew four Polaroids and then I divided the inner part of the Polaroid in 30 boxes. And I didn't even have to use a ruler, this was all freehand. It took me almost no time to set this up. But I'm going to be honest, my habit tracker for me personally is the worst thing to use in my bullet journal because it's so hard to keep up with it every day. 
so this month i'm really going to try to fill them in but i'm starting small and that's why i only have four habits to track and to decorate i'm just adding some sparkles that kind of represent the flash in camera so it's still on theme even though i just really like adding sparkles to things up next is my September highlights page. I always enjoy setting up my highlights pages because they are quite simple and I just really like designing the border. So for this one I'm just adding the title and then I'm adding Polaroid cameras and films all over the border to decorate. And I think what really made this spread pop is the use of colour. As I've said I've never done a rainbow spread before so this was quite a nice thing for me. Alright, so September is my birth month, so for this month I wanted to do something extra, something more reflective I guess, so I'm doing a spread for things to help me identify the kind of person I am and the kind of person I want to be. So I am splitting this in four sections, I have a section for all that I am, things that I can do, what I have and things that I will achieve. This will just help me reflect on my current self and what kind of future I want to build for myself. I know it sounds a bit cheesy or maybe a bit much, but I love things like this, especially around my birthday and new year. So the next page is another page for me to reflect. So it's just a little bucket list of 25 things I want to do before I turn 25. This month I'm turning 24 so I have a year until I hit that quarter life crisis. <laughs> Before that I want to write 25 things I want to accomplish. I did a similar thing like this last year that I didn't share anywhere but I did a 24 before 24 and I've only crossed off 4 things <laughs> and it's safe to say I'm devastated and I'm not even kidding I'm hoping that this time I will do at least half of the things on my list. So for this I'm writing 1 to 25. And then I'm decorating the page with Polaroids again. And I just realized after filming this video that I did 1 to 30, which is so annoying. So that's a great start. But I'm going to show you in the flip through what it looks like now and how I fixed it. And finally I'm doing my weekly spreads so for the first week I'm just doing these Polaroids all over the page and like my habit tracker this was very effortless because I didn't even use a ruler. I didn't have to be precise and it took me no time to set this up. Then I'm just adding more sparkles to decorate the page. My next weekly spread is a bit more structured, so I'm just drawing 7 Polaroid cameras and then I'm doing rounded rectangles for each day where I can write my tasks. And for the days I use the same font I used in my monthly log and I actually really like how this turned out, so I'm really happy with that. Okay, and just before the flip through, I'm going to announce the winner of the last giveaway and then I'll talk more about the new giveaway with this plan with me. And here's the winner of the last giveaway, congratulations, we will reply to your winning comment with instructions on how to claim your prize. And if you didn't win, good news, there's another giveaway, so for this giveaway, we are giving away a brand new pack of jewel brush markers which is what you saw me use in this video to colour in the polaroids. So to enter all you have to do is subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up and comment anything you want with the rainbow emoji. I'll add the emoji in the description box below if you don't have emojis on your phone or computers so you can just copy and paste that emoji. And finally here's a flip through of all the pages I've set up for September. I'm so excited to use this and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We make videos every Wednesday and while you're here please hit that bell button so you don't miss out on any posts. 
and that's all for now thank you so much for watching see you next week